Hello everybody, Custo Christopher VFX here, and I am back in black. Yes, um, yeah, I'm actually dressed in all black, so meant that literally. Alright, so we have a really cool tutorial today. We are going to be making a glitch effect. So this tutorial is actually super simple, and it is a very cool effect, so why not give it a go? I've gotten a couple requests for uh, this tutorial, so let's get right into it then. Okay, so what I got here today is I just got my normal intro tutorial, uh, or tutorial intro, and basically just I made this using lots of 3D stuffs, but what we're going to do is you can do this to any footage, you're going to add a glitch to, to it, as you saw in the intro. Okay, once we got our footage all set up, um, we're just going to get our screen uh, glitch, or st that stock footage, and we're going to drag it right on top of our footage. And we're just going to leave it like this for now. I'm going to show you uh, why we do that in a little bit. We're not going to scale it up or anything. All right, and now you can either click in this gray area right here and go to New Adjustment Layer, or you can also go to Layer New Adjustment Layer. So we're just going to put that right on top. And once we have the Adjustment Layer on top, we are going to go to, with it selected, we're going to go to Effect, Distort, Displace, displacement map. So once we've done that, we are going to go to the effect controls and we're going to go under displacement map layer and then go under and then we're going to right now it has the adjustment layer as the displacement map, which is not what we want. We want the screen glitch because that's what's going to give us the cool effect. So now what we can do is once we go down to screen uh, the screen glitch, we can just hide this click on that little eyeball and immediately as you can see we're having some glitch effects but the only problem we have here is that it only does it to the middle as you can see it only happens in this area not over here and as you can see just this area now if I scale this up the screen glitch it won't do anything so what we got to do is under displacement map under uh, adjustment layer displacement map we have to go to displacement map behavior and we're gonna change this from center map to tile map All right, let's hide the screen glitch effect alright now check it out the whole entire frame is now glitching so there are two ways you can either do tile map or stretch to fit each way is perfectly fine just whatever you know floats your boat I just prefer tile map it uh, doesn't kind of stretch out the glitch or anything and it gives it I think a little bit more texture not exactly sure <laughs> alright so once we got our basic glitch effect which you know looks kinda cool Oh, also on edge behavior you can also click on wrap pixels around so uh, as you can see if you uh, have some of the like, black bars over here so if you don't want those you can just click on that and it'll get rid of those if that's what you're looking going for, then that's totally fine. If you don't want that, wrap tiles, uh, wrap pixels around. All right. So now, uh, what we can also do is with our glitch effect, we can get the uh, max horizontal and vertical displacement, and we can adjust those parameters. So default is at five, but watch what happens if I take this horizontal displacement and boom, gets all funky. So you can also put it down to negative or just down to zero but this is where you can aff affect how much uh, horizontal you know glitch factor there will be and then same with vertical except vertical so now we got this vertical kind of thing going on all right and if you go to stretch to fit looks a little bit different but not too much all right so that is basically how you get the glitch factor or the glitch effect and it's very simple you know you just go through this simple steps and then you got to here but now like as you saw in the gardener um, my previous short film uh, in the intro there was a glitch effect over the zooming in of like you know the world going into where our agent was dropped blah 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 but it wasn't glitching the whole time as you would notice so what you got to do with this is, if you want that to happen, we're going to go and on our adjustment layer, press T, and we're going to keyframe the opacity. So we're going to turn this down to zero for now. We're going to say, I want it to glitch 
right about here. So I'm just going to put it in the keyframe, going over two spots, and then dragging it up to 100. So now we got that glitch effect, and not too long, a little less than a second. Another two frames, and put another keyframe, okay, back to zero. So now, as you can see really quickly, One final remark I would like to make. If you want a less artificial glitch, I know it seems kind of weird, but you know, like, a, I guess a natural seeming glitch would be like on Skype or something. It just kind of slowly glitches and then gets back into focus. What you can do to, in order to get that effect, which I used also in the intro to The Gardener, go to the screen glitch footage. We're going to right click on our screen glitch footage we're going to go to time enable time remapping so I just uh, cut it off right here at the end of our my original tutorial file and I'm going to drag this out quite a bit as you can see compared to last time the glitch is just a little bit more slow a little bit more natural alright and that concludes this tutorial so Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. And also be sure to check out my latest short film, a POV action comedy called The Gardener. It uh, uses this technique in the intro sequence of the film. Also, be sure to check out my website, CustoChristopherVFX.com. Again, thank you for watching. If you have any ideas about a tutorial you would like to see, please feel free to comment below. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. All right, now go out there and... Go make yourself some glitches. Yeah. All right, you guys have fun. I'm just going to, you know. Okay.